the Memphis Grizzlies. They beat the Mavs last night, and well, no one's looking. They're 13 and three in their last 16 games. They are now in the eighth seed in the West. Do you think they can hold off the Blazers and the Spurs to secure a playoff spot? Memphis is getting in the playoffs, and I Ooh. believe Portland is as well. I Ooh. think Oklahoma City is the team that might be on the outside looking in, depending on if they're a seller for the trade deadline. And mm. I'm going to give you a couple of attributes I want you to pay attention to when you watch Memphis play basketball. Oh, please do, sir. Ja Morant, ja Morant and Jaron Jackson's left hand. Like, both of these guys, Ja navigate really well in and out of traffic. He did one move on the baseline yesterday, never touched it with his right hand, laid it up off the backboard. Mm. It, it was beautiful. And Jaron Jackson, as a big guy, has a really good touch from three. But as my Detroit Pistons saw, he'll bang it on you with that left, too. Yes, and I'm he glad to see Brooks get a big-time contract. He had a ferocious dunk on the break yesterday. Like, Memphis is, has, has found its confidence and its identity and so I believe because of that, they're going to find a way to get in. So, Jalen, I love doing this show with you because I know you watch every game. That's great analysis. You are a great analyst. So please remind our audience what your an analysis is of John Morant when you watch him. What comes to mind when you see John Morant? So the, fir the first thing that comes to <laughs> mind, and pay attention to this when you watch this dude play. Like he play a lot of basketball. Like he, he plays really a lot crafty. Of basketball. <laughs> yeah, like normally like young guys. He plays a lot like of basketball. He never gets sped up. Yeah, he never gets sped up. <laughs> He's not intimidated at all. He's fearless. He'll try to go jump over a seven foot guy. He'll <laughs> clap back at Steph Curry on Twitter. Like as a young oh. player, that's so refreshing. He'll catch a lob. He'll throw I'll a lob. I'll never forget. Great I court sense. I will never, sense. ever forget the moment we were watching the Memphis Grizzlies. You point at the screen and you go, that guy plays a lot of basketball. I can tell he plays a lot of basketball. <laughs> well, someone else who plays a lot of basketball is his teammate, Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks just got locked into a three-year, $35 million extension. He's had a really good year this year. Jalen, what does this tell you about the Grizzlies' belief in Brooks? So the great thing about the league is watching young players develop and sometimes under the radar. Kelly yeah. Oubre comes to mind in this category for the Suns. And all of a sudden, you find Brooks, you pair him alongside Morant, he gets his confidence, and you got a starting backcourt. You have a starting backcourt now. Mm -hmm. He can shoot the three, he can finish at the hoop, he, he's confident. You heard what he had to say about Andre Iguodala not wanting to be there. Like, he should be wanting to run with us. We're trying to build something here. So, I, I appreciate the fact that now they seem to have something in some building pieces going forward that they can put people around and be a perennial playoff team. One thing I love about Brooks is sometimes there's rookies like John Morant that just go straight from college to the league and don't miss a beat. But Brooks, you remember him in Oregon. He was so good. He was such a good scorer. And it took him a couple years in the league to develop, and now he has a good year and gets rewarded with a new deal. Congratulations to him and the Grizzlies. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.